discuss subtasks and work hours. With business expansion, the task count has grown, becoming more complex. Simple task management is no longer sufficient. We need to break down large tasks into more detailed parts, dividing them into multiple levels, which helps everyone manage tasks better. First, we create a subtasks collection in the data source. We created a subtask collection with a tree table structure and added fields for it. It includes basic items such as task name, task description, task status, and attachment, as well as a task completion percentage. We also added in the subtask collection a many-to-one association field named belong task, plus the task's assignee, and an association field for task comments. We added a one-to-many relationship field in the comment collection, so in this subtask collection, it becomes a one-to-many relationship. Subtasks also include references to the knowledge document library, which is also one-to-many. In the association field, there are parent nodes and children for the tree collection. These fields were added when creating the tree structure collection. Go back to the task management page. We will reconfigure the view block in the actions column, changing the open mode from drawer to page. Then we add the Subtask tab in the View page. Click Submit. Click to go to the Subtask tab. We add the Subtasks collection in a table block. In Configure Columns, enable Task Name, Task Status, Assignee, and complete percent. Turn on filter, add new, refresh, and delete. We enable the tree table option and expand all by default, then open the collapse expand button. Next, for the add new button, we have configured it in the block, setting a simple page style. In task management, we find the update website content task. Two subtasks were previously added. The parent of part one is system management design to make the main task and subtask more interconnected. We move the actions column after the task name. And in the actions column, we enable edit and add child. At this point, the subtask interface for task management is initially complete. Click view action to jump to the subtask block. Next, we add task work hours for subtasks. In data sources, we have added basic fields to subtasks. Estimate hours, remain hours, start date, and end date can dynamically calculate the task's working hours duration. As we can see, the remaining working hours and estimated hours are set to integer types for easier calculation. We also added a formula field duration in the collection, which calculates the subtask's duration. The number of days between the start date and end date. After that, we enter the task management page. Under the Update Website Content Tasks view, we need to configure and add some fields in the block. Enable the start date, end date, and the duration of the task. Here, task duration is a formula field, so it can't be edited. For example, if we pick midnight of one day to midnight of the next day, the formula field duration can automatically calculate the number of days for the task's duration. From the 27th to the 29th, the duration is two days. So far, we have finished the basic settings for subtasks. Next, we need to configure data sources again. We must create a new collection based on the actual progress of tasks to add daily work content. Here, we create a data collection with the display name Daily Work. After adding daily work, this collection requires fields. We have added some fields to the daily work collection, including a many-to-one relationship to the subtask collection. Day hours, date, ideal hours. Day hours and ideal hours are both integer fields. At this point, the daily work data collection is created. 
Next, we need to show the daily work hours in the subtask page. On the Add New page, in the Daily Work table, for the Many to One association just created, linking the subtask to daily work, we add an inverse relationship field. Find daily work in the subtask table, open the daily work field, and display daily work as a subtable. Then, in the daily work subtable, we enable the date, day hours, and ideal hours. On the page, we also enable estimate hours and remain hours. Then make simple page layout adjustments. We also need the complete percent field. Adjust the pop-up size to large. We will set start and end dates and estimated hours as required fields to ensure complete data calculation. After setting them as required, we set the linkage rules. Add linkage rules, work hours calculation. Add a property, then find the complete percent field. Set its value as an expression. The expression is sum of current form daily work, day hours divided by current form, estimate hours, to calculate the completion progress. Similarly, remain hours is current form, estimate hours, minus the sum of current form, daily work, day hours, that is estimated hours minus the total daily hours, which yields the remainder. Click OK. Similarly, we also need linkage rules in the daily work subtable to configure the ideal hours. The ideal hours value, here, we select the expression. Current form, estimate hours, estimated formula. Current form, subtask duration. So we calculate the ideal hours needed each day for on time task completion. Rename the rule ideal work hours calculation. Click OK. Then let's do a quick test. In our daily work, we add three dates. If it's inconvenient under editor mode, we can exit editor mode. We set the task start time to the 25th until the 3rd of next month. Set the estimate hours to 18 days. Add daily hours for the subtask like 1 hour, 2 hours, 2 hours. We notice that the ideal hours is 2 hours per day, so working 2 hours daily completes the task on time. At this point, remain hours is dynamically calculated. We have finished five hours, so 13 remain, and the completion is 27%. We create a task progress chart for this task. Under the Edit button, we have completed the current task block page. We can use the Add New Template to copy the template. System Management Design. We add five daily work hour items, plus the task's start and end date. Next, we add a chart under the block. Select the daily work collection and set measures to the sum of day hours and the sum of ideal hours. The dimension is set to date. Here we need to add a condition. Under Add Condition, the corresponding task, associated subtask ID equals current pop-up record slash ID, and sort it by date in ascending order. The x-axis displays the date. 
click Run Query, and it generates a comparison line chart of daily work hours versus ideal hours. Save and adjust the layout. Then we create a block for a quick task overview. So we add block, add block details. Click to enable remain hours and end date. Move it to the top. Then change the block layout to horizontal mode. Now the subtasks basic info and daily hour progress are set. We use a handlebar template to render the subtask percentage. Add a markdown block and edit. Paste the markdown text into the markdown text box. This content can be found in the tutorial docs. Refer to the official documentation to review the syntax details. Click Save and the current task's percentage progress appears. If we feel the current page configuration isn't attractive enough, we can also configure the chart's aspect ratio. At this point, the page block looks nicer. Exit editor mode. Click edit and we can correctly set the task's basic info and daily hour progress. We completed the multi-level task build, daily hour submission, and charts displaying task info. We can clearly see the task's completion progress. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next chapter.